Hello, I'm Tom Coffing, CEO of Coffing Data Warehousing. And thank you for coming. We're going to talk about the Google BigQuery row number analytic. This is just a normal query on Google BigQuery using Nexus. And you can see I've just ordered the data by product ID. And then within each product ID, the minor sort is sale date. That's how the data looks. Now let's do a row number. Notice now I'm going to say row number open paren, close paren, because it's an analytic function. I will always have the word over, and then I'll have an open paren, and I will tell it first how to sort the data. Sort this by product ID and sale date first, and then put a row number on it. It runs, and as you can see, the data is first sorted by product ID and sale date, just like we've said to, and then it puts a row number from the first row all the way down. It's different than rank. You will never have any duplicates. It's row number all the way down. As you can see, we've sorted it first. That's the key to understand. It sorts the data first, and then it puts the row number on there. Now, it seems simple, but as I show this, it'll show more brilliance each time. Now, let's say we want to reset the analytics and just get a row number within its own product ID. Very simple. You put the word partition by product ID. Almost think of it as a group by. And now it'll give us all of our groupings and then a row number for each group. Here's the 3,000, the 1,000, the 2,000. I like it when it's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. So sometimes you break a rule here by saying, I'm going to order the data again by the product ID and the sale date, or I'll just say product ID in my underscore row, which is the alias I gave for my row number. And now we see all our 1000s, and we see our row numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because of the partition by statement, we then have the 2000, and the row number resets in 1 to 7 there, and then for the 3000s. Again, looks fairly simple, easy to use, but we're going to make this extremely interesting as we move forward okay now let's do something crazy here let's have some fun and turn on dark mode of nexus oh this is pretty this is the way professionals do it to save their eyes when they're on this all day long i'm going to create a derived table that way i can put a where clause on this now I just say select everything from and I come down to my query and I put an open paren and a close paren. I'm not going to include the order by here. You wouldn't do that. That's for the end. And I give the derived table a name. I'm going to call it my derived table. So now I can put a where clause in because the data isn't being calculated. It's first calculated, put in a derived table. Now it exists, so I can say where my rows less than three. And now I'm going to see, per product ID, the first three sales, or the first two sales, pardon me, for each product ID, because I said my row less than three. If I wanted to see the last two sale dates I had, for each of these product IDs. I put sale date descending. The data is first sorted. And now the last two rows are getting the ones and the twos. You can control when things reset with a partition by and how things are sorted. So this is my query. I put this in a derived table. I select everything from the derived table. And now I'm able to get those results. Let's go do this in a different derived table. I put this back into light mode. Now watch very carefully here. I'm going to show you a with derived table. You just say with, give it a name. I call it derived table as. Real simple. I put the open paren and the close paren. Now the first thing it does is it creates a derived table with my partition by row number here but then you have to select from it. I put a space in between the two queries, but it's all one query. It's run as one query. I select everything from the derived table where my rows less than four. Now I will get the last three sale dates for each product ID, and I've ordered again to make it look real pretty and 
here we go. Runs the query, and there we have it. That's how you use the row number to get specific rows. First sale, last sale, first claim, last claim. This is the way you use it, and it's a brilliant way to use row number on Google BigQuery to find specific rows in a set. Thank you for coming. I'm Tom Coffing, CEO of Coffing Data Warehousing. Reunite your data. This is the Nexus. This is the best tool in the world for querying all data. You can download it at coughingdw.com or if you're interested in purchasing, just email us at sales at coughingdw.com. Hey, even better yet, thank you.